All right, in this video, we're going to go through the uh, settings page on the Stream 101 Media Control Panel, uh, powered by Centova Cast uh, version 3. So we'll go ahead and go to the settings page. Uh, this gives you a little bit of dashboard um, information. Uh, what this page does is it tells you, um, you know, your stream title, email address, organization, and website URL. Um, the stream title doesn't really matter unless you're doing auto DJ. Uh, same with the uh, website URL. Um, we're doing live streaming on this particular station, uh, but I'll explain what this uh, does anyways. As far as stream title and company organization go, um, if you're using the start page provided by you uh, via this control panel, um, it sets that um, title up at the top. So we'll go here, uh, quick links, and then we'll look at the stream start page. It sets this title up here. Um, so if we go back to the settings page real quick, um, important to have a good email address there. If your stream were to go down for any reason or if it were to have some complications, um, if you're going over your disk quota, uh, if you try streaming at too high of a bit, uh, bit rate, um, or if, if someone else starts streaming on your station, they figured out your password or something, um, and, and they do something weird, um, it's going to let you know uh, at that email address. Um, so again, we have our source password here for uh, connecting to the stream. Administrator password, that's what we use to log in. Uh, you update that in the client area. Here's a link directly to where you need to go. If we go to the widgets page, um, here's some different options that you have um, for the start page here. Do you want it? Yes or no. Um, On-demand content widget. Um, you have the ability to upload files if you're doing auto DJ and have on-demand content. Works great for uh, podcast stuff like that. Um, Google Maps widget, that is the, as it says, real-time geographic mapping of your users' locations. Uh, next page, song, song requests. Do you want it? Yes or no? Um, automatically queue. Um, we'll go here and, and you see if enabled, the song request will be identified automatically uh, when possible and added to the playback queue. Now this is only for auto DJ clients. Um, if you're live streaming, this isn't going to work. Um, then you have some additional information that you can set here, request delay, request prob probability, um, email unknown requests, things of that nature. Recent tracks, do you want to have them, yes or no? Again, this is on the start page. Um, and then what player you like. Um, I prefer this J player. It's actually an HTML5 player uh, that we have integrated. And uh, the nice part about that is it actually works on almost every single browser, uh, including mobile browsers. Uh, next page is file here. Um, introduction file and fallback file. Um, for example, if you want to play a MP3 file that uh, explains, hey, you're tuning into uh, today's hot country, uh, give it a second and the stream will start, or whatever you want it to say, you can go ahead and upload that file here. Uh, it's important that it has to be the same bit rate, sample rate, and number of channels. Okay, so this particular station, I stream at 64 kbps with a sample rate of 22.1 kilohertz. And it is actually streamed mono, not stereo, so that's a single channel. That file for the introduction or the fallback need to be the same as the stream. Uh, fallback file, um, if the source disconnects, so let's say I have power outage um, at my home, if I'm streaming from my home, and... Uh, you know, stop streaming. We can, you know, any sized fallback file. I mean, it can be a two hour fallback file if you'd like it to. That would start playing um, to your listeners saying, hey, we're currently experiencing technical difficulties. Um, we're aware of the problem and working on it. And you can actually put music in there or content or, or something like that. So even people who don't, um, they won't even really realize that your stream is down when first connecting into it. Uh, albums next. Um, again, this is if you're doing uh, auto DJ and can pull the album art uh, from Amazon, iTunes Store, uh, custom, embedded, folder images. Um, you can drag and drop the order of preference that you'd like it to look for. Server overrides. Um, we ask that you leave these the same um, as what they are. Um, it's the most common settings set up to work with the uh, Shoutcast uh, yellow pages or the Shoutcast.com when you search for your station there. Uh, the only thing you might want to change is public server, automatic, 
um, always or never. Um, generally leaving it on automatic is fine, but if you wanted a private station where it's not listed in any directories, choose never. Relay, um, this allows different settings here. We'll go into detail on that with a different video. Um, and then advanced, you've got disconnect uh, listeners of source disconnects. I always check no because, like I said, if you have a quick power outage or computer freezes for a second and the source disconnects, you don't want it dumping everybody off. Um, the handy feature here is always disconnect listeners after 360 minutes. Um, if you decide that, uh, or if you're worried about stream rippers, this is a good option to set um, every, you know, so, so many minutes or so many hours. You can have it disconnect the, the listener so they have to restart the stream. Um, some people think it's going to get rid of a lot of listeners, but I personally think that it will prevent a lot of stream ripping. So that kind of gives you an overview on the settings page on the Stream 101 Media Control Panel uh, powered by CentovaCast 3.